and welcome to the Crafty Beggar's Kitchen with Julie Peasgood and Wendy Turner Webster. <laughs> it's April, but we haven't been April fools. Oh no, yeah. we have been April clevers, mm -hmm. if that's a word, I don't think it is. I like it. Because we are recycling, upcycling and repairing things with Deco Patch. Yeah, and, and you've made a sterling start on the old... Uh, repairing front. I have indeed. Yeah, yes, yeah, sort of repairing. This is well, a he big... didn't look much before. <laughs> well, <laughs> this is a big fat chick, but he was burnt in a fire. He was pristine white when when he began his life, and then he was burnt in the fire. And sort of, even though he didn't look too bad, mm. I knew he'd been burnt in the fire, and he wasn't ever the same. I think he looked brilliant now better than ever may Thank i you, say Wend. well i left his legs as they were and his base and his little beak but i love what you've been up to unicorns ah but you actually saw this horse i think we've got a picture on the screen now you saw this horse before the deco patch magic happened yeah. didn't you and he was a horse as you can see there without ears because they'd snapped off and now We've turned him into a beautiful, magical unicorn, and I think he looks, though I state myself, quite stunning. I think he does. And what's fantastic is that with just these simple pieces of paper, that you can transform things and give them a whole new life, which is great. In fact, you're going to give a whole new life to various random objects. <laughs> yes, well, I've talk, <laughs> talk us through them. Yeah. I've only got time for one now, but. I found this um, a plain white plate in a charity shop That's for about a pound. Sensational what you did. Did that done. with the deco patch. So I'm, really re good. I'm really pleased with that actually. Patchwork deco patch. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. These over here just again raided the local charity shop. This vase, which I think would be brilliant with some deco patch mm. on. This is from um, the cheapest shop on the high street. Pound. That sells everything for a that pound. That sells everything for a pound. Ooh. I thought he looks a bit boring. He could do with uh. some deco patch. <laughs> And then in the charity shop, how they were selling these, I don't know, but they did cost me a quid each. Two um, ducks, look, with broken beaks. I'm glad it was a charity shop because you were ripped off. I was, I was ripped off, but I can tell you what, which one am I going to do? I'm going to do this one. I'm going to turn him back into something special. Yeah! And what are you doing? <laughs> what I'm going to do is a big challenge, okay? This is a really filthy, manky jug. It's disgusting! It's disgusting. <laughs> this, this jug has seen better days, but it has lived for the last 36 years in my friend's Michael, my friend Michael's loo. And oh. some, would say, some would say it should have stayed in Michael's loo. It housed Michael's cleaning equipment Has he been missing loo. his aim? It's... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I thought that's a rather nice, well, it was a rather nice Art Deco sort of junk. Mm. I can surely do something with that. I haven't been able to get off those horrible lime scale stains. And really, I, over them. <laughs> I am regretting it, but it didn't cost me a quid. It didn't cost me anything. It you came, weren't ripped off. It came with Michael's love. And I'm going to actually see if I can do something about making it look better. Right, well, what's your chosen colour theme well, then? Well, 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 I just thought I'm going to go for something monochrome. It's all I'm very going to pick out that. Yeah, it yeah. is. I'm going to kind of echo the handle, the black mm. of the handle, and do something ingenious. I haven't quite decided what yet, but uh, I will with monochrome. What are you going to do? I am going to do something with the, the, the sheet of paper that I don't know if you're entirely fond of. Oh. The um, <laughs> the rule Britannia. It's very, very, very popular. Very popular, and I think yeah. lime goes really well with it. So I'm going to try and do something around that. So oh, well, let's get tearing and let's begin. See you in a minute. <laughs>
Oh, when restoration is tiring work. It's very I'm tiring. Finished. Ta-da! I love that. Do you know what it reminds me of? It's like a doily's coming over the top of the jug. Yes, it is, isn't it? Paper doily. Yeah. Mm. And I just thought I'd brighten it up with with the um, the patch liner. Uh, I love what you've done. Self. Oh, thank you. I love yeah. what you've done with the handle. Yes. Yeah. Well, it is very Art Deco. That sort of juxtaposition of very yes. bright paint yes. with the uh, with the black. So I think it's improved it. It's brilliant. It's really brilliant, and it just shows the scope of you know what we've been saying. Yeah. Um, that Deco patch can do. You don't have exactly. to throw. Your duck with a broken beak away? No. No. Look at no. it now. New beak, new wings, new yes. eyes. That's my favourite bit. That's like a transfer. Yes, it it's, is. It's wonderful. Mm, that's come out really well. And also, I don't know if you can, well, of course you can see because it's here. These two, <laughs> these eyes, I've made quite a bit bigger on this one. Yes. Uh, with the patch liner glue and how different the character it looks yes. because of the bigger eyes. She looks feminine. It's more appealing. Exactly. Bambi-esque. <laughs> yeah. So what are we doing next time? Next time, I think we are actually transforming uh, furniture. Ooh, with Deco, Deco Patch, Patch is good at that. Yeah. We'll see you then. Definitely. <laughs>